So people who are asking what Pentecost is are asking a really good question. Uh, Pentecost in English comes uh, out of the same root as, as five or fifty. The pent uh, is for fifty. And it's fifty days after the Passover, the Jewish Passover. And so that is a time uh, that was set aside for uh, uh, this prophecy to be fulfilled. That uh, Jesus said, it's to your advantage that I uh, ascend to heaven because then the Holy Spirit will descend upon you. And at Pentecost, we celebrate that uh, descending of the Holy Spirit and the birthday of the Christian church. The thing about Luther is he, uh, among many other things, uh, made the rallying cries of the Protestant Reformation these solas, uh, uh, sola fide, by faith alone, uh, by grace alone, by the word alone, the sola scriptura was a part of that. Uh, and so if we're going to take the word of God uh, seriously, the way Martin Luther would want us to. As Lutherans, that means we have to read all of Scripture. And if we're going to read all of the Scriptures, we're going to come across the Holy Spirit frequently, uh, early and often. I'm fond of saying I'd rather clean up after a party than not have one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and have this party as Lutheran Christians too, which means we're going to embrace the fullness of God and embrace the Holy Spirit. There are some biblical boundaries for that, and so those boundaries keep us from going too far uh, with the Holy Spirit too. Even Moses, after he had the burning bush experience, uh, surrounded himself with elders and went to them and said, here's what's happened, what do you think? Uh, and they, they affirmed it, they blessed it. So it's important to have community. Find some people in your lives who will hold you accountable and who will speak truth and love to you, as the scriptures say, uh, that will bless you and allow you to, um, to hear what it is that God is saying by His Spirit. When we uh, just focus on certain gifts of the Holy Spirit, the miracle gifts or the supernatural gifts, uh, then we might miss the point that those are just some of the gifts that the Bible talks about that the Holy Spirit gives to us. Uh, the, the most important of the gifts, according to the Apostle Paul's letter to the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13, are faith, hope, and love. And of these three gifts, the greatest of these gifts of the Spirit is love. And so uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we all need more of that love from God, and we all need to share more of that love with one another in the world around us. And so that's the work of the Holy Spirit too. Our lives are incomplete if we only ask, what happened and how did it happen without asking why did it happen and uh, why are we here and is there some force or some who, some God who's behind it all. So I would uh, lovingly encourage you, if you aren't a believer, to uh, with an open mind and an open heart consider uh, the claims that over two billion people on the face of this earth make that there is a God who has uh, very satisfying answers for our souls for our minds when it comes to these first order questions of life.